my dear brothers and sisters in Christ I come to you today with a message that has been placed upon my heart by the divine I believe that every word I share with you has been guided by a force greater than ourselves a force that desires nothing but our well-being and spiritual protection This message is about your closest friend a false friend in disguise This is the exact words I heard in my spirit as God told me to warn his people and make them aware of their closest friend because of a great significant reason that will unfold in the upcoming days Beware my beloved Beware of the cheaters of your life While good friends are a blessing bad friends are a curse In our complex human interactions there can be moments when the actions or intentions of even the dearest friend may be influenced by factors beyond their control The words I share are not meant to invoke fear or suspicion in your hearts but to serve as a reminder of the complex and often hidden aspects of our human relationships This message is meant only for your eyes for it speaks to the unique an intimate bond you share with this individual our closest friends are often like family bound to us by a deep connection that transcends mere companionship they are our confidants our allies and the ones we turn to in times of joy and sorrow these bonds are precious and at times irreplaceable however it is in the very nature of such intimate relationships that we may sometimes overlook the dynamics at play we can become so comfortable with our closest friends that we might fail to recognize subtle shifts or changes in their behavior and intentions that is why god has led me to share this message with you today when making friends be aware of those who are false friends a gift to wickedness these follow the ways of their true master the devil himself all they bother is how much of benefit they can extract from you in your good times they will have themselves to your luxuries but in times which are hard they will keep away from you my son if sinners entice you do not consent whoever walks with the wise becomes wise but the companion of fools will suffer harm remember judas the vile little betrayer of jesus christ a lot too was a false friend all he loved was himself even though he witnessed the glorious miracles of jesus first hand due to judas obsession with earthly riches 
hypocrite Jesus. Fake and false friends are therefore in the same category like Judas. If any so-called friend entices you to sin in any way, then reject that little minion right away. Do not hesitate at all. You are free to say no to all such people who knowingly or unknowingly target your holiness in the Lord Jesus Christ. But remember, the bonds of friendship are not immune to the trials and tribulations of life. The pressures of the world, personal struggles and influences from external sources can, at times, lead people down unexpected paths. Matthew chapter 26 verse 50 says, In the midst of betrayal, Jesus called Judas friend. Jesus knew exactly what Jesus was there to do. He even hinted at it during the last supper in the upper room. And he knew Judas was going to do it. Jesus knew exactly why Judas had come, yet he called Judas friend, perhaps giving him a chance to choose differently, to choose reconciliation instead of betrayal. The message here is not about judging your friend, but being vigilant and aware of the potential challenges they may be facing. In our fast-paced world, where demands are high and distractions are constant, it can be challenging to remain fully connected with those we care about most. Yet, it is precisely during such times of stress and distraction that we may be most vulnerable to misunderstanding the intentions of our closest friends. Just as you have faced difficulties in life, so has your closest friend. The pressures and trials of this world can sometimes lead people to make choices that they might not otherwise consider. God's message was clear that in our closest relationships, there is an opportunity for grace, healing, and deeper understanding. Your friend may not be even be aware of the challenges they are facing, and your open heart can be the beacon that guides them back to a path of love, trust, and friendship. Remember that you are not alone in navigating the complexities of human relationships. The Divine Presence is always with you, offering guidance and comfort. God's love is a constant source of support, reminding you that even in moments of uncertainty, you are held in the embrace of divine grace. So, beware of the people you allow in your life who affect your lifestyle and have faith in the divine plan of God. Now let us come together in prayer to our Heavenly Father. Let's express our gratitude to Him for His precious words and seek His guidance to discern the true from the false among our friends. Heavenly Father, we come before you with open hearts, 
seeking your guidance and wisdom. Lord, we recognize the importance of the people we allow into our lives and the profound impact they can have on us. We understand that there are those who may not have our best interests at heart and we ask for your discernment to recognize them. Help us, O oh God, to be vigilant and discerning in our interactions with others. Grant us the wisdom to distinguish between those who genuinely care for our well-being and those who may harbor false intentions. Protect us from the harm that can result from false friends and misguided relationships. Lord, we place our trust in your divine plan, knowing that you lead us on the path of righteousness. We acknowledge that your words are a source of strength and truth in our lives. And we seek your guidance to align our choices with your will. As we navigate the complexities of relationships, we ask for your grace and wisdom. Help us build connections based on honesty, trust and genuine love. May our friendships be a source of support, encouragement and growth. We thank you Heavenly Father for your constant presence and the light of your truth that guides us. In times of doubt and uncertainty, we turn to you for clarity and insight. Bless us with the discernment to recognize those who may not have our best interests at heart and the courage to distance ourselves from such influences. Lord, we commit our relationships and friendships into your loving hands. We trust that you will lead us on the right path, guiding us away from those who will lead us astray. May our connections be rooted in your love and be a source of strength and encouragement. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this great message today. We hope you found inspiration and guidance in God's wisdom. If you'd like to stay connected with our community of happy Christians and receive more uplifting messages, prayers, and support, please consider subscribing to the channel. May God bless you abundantly. Amen.